During this time of COVID-19, you've probably heard the phrase flatten the curve, and you probably know that it's important, but maybe wondering what flatten the curve means. To explain this graph, let's first talk about exponential growth. Imagine this rectangle has 1 million people in it. On day one, one person is sick, and every sick person can spread it to one other person every single day. So on day two, two people are sick. On day three, four people are sick. On day four, eight people are sick, and so on. By day 20, one million people are sick. Now this is an extreme example, but the purpose of it is to explain this curve. These curves represent how quickly the disease is spread. And this line here represents how much our healthcare system can assist. Everyone above this line is left outside without care. In situations like this, doctors have to determine who is the most critical and needs immediate treatment. And many people who need to be hospitalized will be left without care. So, flattening the curve means using extreme measures to slow this exponential growth. Closing schools, canceling sport events, and stopping movement of people is all meant to slow the infection rate so those who need care can get it. In the end, a flatter curve means that fewer people will get infected, fewer get sick, and fewer will die. And that's the reason we're being asked to practice social distancing and stay away from large groups of people. You should stay at least six feet away from others, even if you're not sick. Don't use a handshake or hug to greet people. Find other ways. And of course, if you're sick, you must stay home. These important measures will not completely stop the virus, but if implemented effectively, they will allow our healthcare system to be able to take care of those who need it most and help our communities avoid unnecessary sickness and death. So remember, we are trying to flatten the curve. Let's all work together so we can all be healthy together.